In this video we're going to talk about product research and in particular how you can find the right affiliate products to promote, how to find relevant affiliate products to solve problems and how to research and build a keyword list for your products and your market. Now affiliate marketing has become a great way for people to make money on the internet but many people are asking how do I find the right affiliate products to promote? Well, it's not extremely easy, but it's not impossible either. It's a process that involves thought and research, as well as safety precautions. Now, here are a few tips for people wanting to delve into affiliate marketing to find the right affiliate products. And first and foremost, you'll need to decide what your niche, or niche as some people pronounce it, is going to be. A niche is a specific genre of products that you choose to promote, such as crafts, clothes or food. This is an extremely important step to finding the right affiliate products to promote. And many people are turned off by a site that sells everything, so you need to decide what your niche is going to be to narrow the scope and offer a specific variety of products. and you need to research, research and research. I've said it three times because it's vital for any affiliate marketer to do the proper research to make the right decisions when choosing an affiliate product to promote. There are thousands of companies that offer affiliate programs but some may not be in your best interest. You'll want to research as many companies with your niche as possible to see which ones fit your needs and which don't. You want to choose the companies that offer the highest commission rates, the best guarantees and also have proven payment histories. Be very careful when choosing an affiliate program and look up their history with the Better Business Bureau to avoid as much risk as possible. Many companies love to scam new affiliate marketers by charging them for lists of companies who then do the same thing. Supply and demand is not just part of the corporate business world, it's part of all commerce including e-commerce. Look at what's popular. You know, Many sites offer top lists and they help you decide which products in your niche to promote. The best affiliate products to promote will be closer to the top of these lists. The higher the demand, the higher the profitability is going to be. Do an analysis to see how well you're doing compared to your competition. You'll find the right affiliate products to promote by looking at what they're not offering. If they offer product A and people are looking for products A and B, you'll do better by offering them both. One way to find the right affiliate product to promote is by trying it out yourself. You don't want to sell a product that isn't worth selling because you'll end up losing time and money. And this is also a good way to keep your product list full of only the best products for your consumers. Affiliate marketing can be a dog-eat-dog -dog world, but if you follow these tips you'll find it much easier to be successful. The key is to do the research and avoid scams as often as possible. You'll also want to stay up to date with what the hot products are to keep your customers coming back for more. And you want to find the relevant affiliate products that solve problems. You know, Affiliate marketing has become very popular for many internet users looking to make money through sales and many get into affiliate marketing to help solve the problems of everyday consumers, whether that's a relationship issue or a dirty carpet. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to get started as it used to be. The competition is tough and the risk of being scammed is much higher and finding the right products can be difficult for some affiliate marketers. This video will help you find relevant affiliate products to solve problems. Affiliate marketers all over the world are making a lot of money by selling products. How? Well, they're gearing their affiliate product choices towards those that solve problems. The fact of commerce is that consumers will make a purchase on something that solves a problem. They buy gas to fill their tank, thus solving the problem of having an empty gas tank. So an affiliate marketer will want to find relevant affiliate products to solve problems that the consumer may have. A great way to find relevant affiliate products to solve problems is to look at the competition. Look for any products that they don't offer their customers or look for products that are better than the ones they're promoting. For example, if your target market is based on chocolate lovers, but you have some who suffer from diabetes, the problem is that they cannot eat chocolate provided by their competitors due to the ingredients. And here's where you become a knight in shining armor. You'll want to provide a product that's safe for diabetics, and this will allow you to solve their problem and make the sales that your competitors won't. 
Scammers can inhibit your chances of finding relevant affiliate products to solve problems and this is why you want to research any products that you intend on selling and also try them to ensure that they actually solve the problem intended. If you try software that's meant to clean your computer and in fact it causes more problems you'll not want to promote that product. And doing the proper research will significantly boost your ability to find relevant affiliate products to solve problems. If you research what problems your target market has, you'll then be able to provide them with the perfect product that's going to help them. Keyword research will actually help this significantly. Keywords like clogged drain, dry skin or wrinkles all tell you that these people need something to help them, like drain cleaner, lotion, anti-aging cream and so on. Another form of research to try is leading discussion boards and forums. People all over the web use these types of sites to post their questions for finding certain products. Another thing to do is research the product feedback and reviews to see what is the best and what's not worth selling. So if you plan on becoming an affiliate marketer you'll need to find relevant affiliate products to solve problems. Great ways to find relevant affiliate products to solve problems is by analyzing your competition, eliminating scams and doing research. You'll soon see that by focusing on solving your customers problems you'll get more sales and have more repeat purchases. You also want to build a keyword list for your products and for your market and keywords are extremely important when it comes to marketing your product or service to your target audience. The way the internet works is this. First of all, a consumer searches for a product. The products that are of the highest relevance uh, pop up to the uh, top of the search engine result. And the consumer buys the product. Now, it may sound easy, but the truth is there's a little bit more to it than that. After you have established what your product or service is, you need to start the process of building a keyword list so that they can be found. Keywords are the search terms your target audience will use in order to find your product. For example, if you're in the niche of selling hair products, you'll need to do the necessary research to find keywords. You want to look for ones that are used in your niche. For example, more than 4 million people here have entered the keyword shampoo, whereas 40,000 people have entered the search term natural shampoo. You want to establish as many keywords as possible for your keyword list and this will help you target your product to more than one particular audience. For example, if you use biodegradable shampoo, you'll target eco-friendly hair product users and if you just target shampoo, you'll find a much broader target audience. Here are some tips for building a successful keyword list and there are quite a few ways to build a keyword list that's going to be effective in marketing your product or service. You want to try adding narrow and broad keyword terms. For example, using our uh, hair care niche, you might want to use the word shampoo, which is a fairly broad term, or Herbal Essences shampoo which is going to be a narrowed down one. And alternating the keywords will also help so try to include as many variations as possible. For example, fruity shampoo, shampoo that's fruity, fruity smelling shampoo or you can make it even plural fruity smelling shampoos are just a few ways to alternate the words fruity and shampoo. Another example would be shampoo, shampoos, shampooing, and that sort of thing. And you want to use more than one language when you're building your keyword list. You know, use as many languages as you need and focus on the countries that you intend to sell to. You know, bear in mind that in countries like America, there are many different languages used on a daily basis. And I've just sort of found some examples here. Um, we've got shampoo in English as the equivalent in French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish and so on. And you want to include as many different um, languages in your keyword list. 
Another way is to have misspelled versions of the keywords in your search. And many people on the internet may not know how to spell a certain brand name or are simply too busy and they miss a letter. Either way, you'll be able to show up on the search engines if you include misspelled variations of your keywords. And you've got some examples here. You've got, uh, they've left off the last letter here. Or sometimes if you want to notice on your keyboard sometimes people will hit the key that's to the right or the left of the key they intend to hit. Now on my keyboard uh, the letter J comes uh, to the right of the letter H so somebody might hit a J instead of an H when they're typing in shampoo. Or they might get the spelling wrong, they might think it's uh, S sound that starts with a CH and you can put it like, like that. Um, Another misspelling might be in the way that the word is pronounced. Now, in American English, the word herbal uh, has the H silent, so they pronounce it herbal. Now, you might find somebody actually spells it that way, herbal essences, because that's how they would pronounce it, whereas in British English you would pronounce the H, and you would say herbal essences. And you might also want to put the benefits or features in your keyword. Now, many people may not know what type of product that they're looking for, only what outcome that they want. And adding the benefits or features as keywords is going to enhance the chance that a user is going to find your product. So, for example, you could say shiny hair or smooth hair or silky hair. You know, there are three different outcomes that people would want from a hair care product. And you might also want to try using the problem as the keyword as well. For example, damaged hair, dry scalp, split ends. They're all reasons why people would want to switch shampoos. Building a vast and effective keyword list is going to take time, but it can be done and it's going to be well worth it. The more keywords you find and the more you apply to your product, the better chance it's going to be found and purchased. If you do the research and follow these tips, you'll begin to build your keyword and promote your products.